Hello lads and ladies, I'm Kevin. Thanks very much for tuning back into Mercy Sense. If you want to smell really good, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite little houses that I've recently come across, and that house is Rosa Salas. Now Vito from Rosa Salas kindly sent me two, I think the 5ml little decants for me to review. But as always, it's, I'm just going to give my honest opinion, as I always do. It won't influence me at all that I've been, I've been given these, but it just helps along. And obviously I'm only a small growing channel, so every little thing helps. So the two I've got today are 030 Salas. 030 Salas and 034 Moncherry, if you can see it. Here we go. Yeah, so the first one I'm going to talk about today is Salas, 013 Salas. Now, this is a bit inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540, which are really one of my favourite scents. I really enjoy it. Now, I've worn this a few times, so I can give you a good little honest feedback of how I'm feeling and how it worked with me, stuff like that. It has had a lot of good reports. So I've got a little test strip here, and I'll give you a little spray to see what the opening's like, things like that, and let you know. So here we go, nice little sprayer on these. Now, there's a big difference for me on the opening of these with the... The original back of that Rouge 540. This so opens up very, very fruity. I've got an original little decanter of the original vibe here, back of that Rouge 540. That opens up with a quite a clean linen scent. Quite linear, sort of like that. Do you know, like, doesn't really change much. But it's quite fresh and it's got that soft medicinal undertone. Like the medicinal vibe and the nice clean linen sort of smell. Now this, to me, this opens up. Have you ever tasted Starburst? Sweets, the little fruity yellow sweets. I'll put a little picture of them up there in case you haven't. That this starts off very, very fruity. I prefer the opening to this than the original Baccarat Rouge for some reason. There's a lot bit more going on for me. Yeah, very fruity. Now this last this stays quite fruity for about an hour, an hour and a half on me. Then it starts moving, dries down towards the original Baccarat Rouge 540, the MFK version. And by the time it's dried down after two hours, two and a half hours, I'd say you've got like a 90%, 90 percent 90 percent um similarity between the two of them but yet this starts off quite fruity quite punchy but if you're not if you're not into the opening and you think it, it's a bit too much for you don't let that put you off because as i say after two hours it does change and there is a bit of movement in this where the original baccarat rouge is very very linear this is quite fruity and a little bit more going on off the top of me now longevity and projection with this one i get about two hours projection moderate projection not a mad i know a few people's videos they've said it bounces off the skin they get great projection i get about two hours two and a half hours tops at like bubble half an arm's length sort of thing but the good thing about this is i had this on my hand yesterday and i put it on three sprays about three o'clock in the afternoon and i could still sp spray it when I, I could still smell it sorry when i got up this morning uh, so the longevity you're getting like 14 15 hours although it does after I'd say eight or nine hours, it does sit very close to the skin. It is still there, sort of thing. So yeah, very very impressed with that one, um, Rosa Salas. Another another good interpretation. Most of the ones I've tried on these have been brilliant. I've been really impressed. The longevity is great. As I say, a lot of people get better projection with this one than I do. Some things work on my skin, some things don't. Just the way it is, sort of thing. It is very different off the, off the opening. If you're gonna smell this and you think Baccarat Rouge. As soon as you smell it, it's, it is, it's, it's quite different to me. It, um, like I say, it is a bit more fruity. So at the end, I'll tell you what one I think is, is, is my favourite as well, sort of thing. But yeah, so 013 Salas, that's my first one. Now my second one, 034 Moncherry. So here we go, I'll give this a little spray for you. Now I have tried, I've never tried the original Tom Ford version of this. Oh, I love that smell. I've never, as I say, I've never tried the original Tom Ford um, Lost Cherry. I have tried another couple of inspired versions. So, what you're getting off this, this is a lovely gourmand, uh, Bakewell tart, almond slice smell. This is one of these scents. It's a big, juicy, re red cherry, uh, thick, creamy. You get a lot of vanilla in it, so it's quite, quite creamy. Every time I smell this, it makes me hungry. I've got a very, very sweet tooth and I just want to bite into a cake when I eat this. I can almost taste it. That's how rich and that's how that's how well made it is, in my opinion. Now, I put this in the same bracket as you like. One million Privé, Salvatore Ferragamo, Womo, what else? Boss Bottled Intense. These are the type of scents. Not that they smell the same, but they're in the type, same category as when it's cold, it's wet, it's miserable outside. They're a good, really, pick-me-up scent. Very, very cosy, very, very nice. If you are feeling a bit down and you want like, like a cuddle sense, as I say, 
these are the type, this is in one of them sections, if, you, if you're feeling a bit low about yourself, put this on and it'll just instantly make you feel good. What situation would I wear this? This could be used as an office date, as I say, just, I, I tend to use this out, to, out the shower when I'm at home, out the shower. Very, very nice just to sit around and laze around and, and it's, it's, it is one of them cuddle scents, really nice. Now, projection and longevity. Projection's not the best. I get a little little mild scent bubble, and then after five hours, it's basically gone. I've got to reapply, but all the versions of this I've tried have done, that, done the same, so it must just be the scent profile of this. just doesn't work with my skin. But I've also seen another a few lads of the videos, and they've said the original Tom Ford Lost Cherry, the performance is absolutely shocking for the price, you, for the price you're paying. So... I think this is about £25 for a 30ml and a bit more for a bit 50ml, obviously. So, yeah, if you are looking to try any of these... Now, my favourite out of the two of them, in case you haven't gathered, is Lost Cherry, is Mon Cherry, sorry. I love that. I love this DNA. I'm a big Gorman fan, to be honest with you, so... I love anything sweet, anything like... Anything quite edible. I love anything like that rather than your medicinal types. I do like them certain types, no anything... Don't not, like nothing too strong, but I'm a big gourmand fan. I'm a big fan of masculine fragrances. So yeah, if you haven't tried these, obviously I've only got the little, I've only got the little ones here, the little five ml decants. This is what the presentation's like on them. They come in really good presentation. This is one I've had earlier. This is me Congo. So the presentation is absolutely brilliant. If you're if you're now wondering, it's great. No complaints from me. Uh, as I said before, Rosa Salas got a massive thumbs up from me. Hope you enjoyed my little review there. They are on Instagram. I'll leave the link up for you to have a little look at the products and things like that. And I'll leave the link in the description below for you if you are interested in trying out any of the products. But great quality. Most of them give me great projection. Just these two don't. Decent longevity. As I say, on the Salas is good longevity. On the Moncherie, poor longevity. And a little bit of projection. But the scent profile is unbelievable. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed me, uh, me little... Hope you enjoyed my little video there. Quick one off Rosa Salas. I have talked about these before. And don't forget, smell good and you'll feel good. And I'll speak to you soon.